Hello Internet, this is going to be a short video on, I have no idea, on railroad thingies with villagers. So, this is part of our Minecraft display. Oh my. So, I will be putting villagers in random carts. I will spawn some of them because some don't agree. I got two priests right there. Get in the minecart! Okay, we got him out of the way now. Hopefully they're not already there. No, they're not. Thank goodness. We gotta go stop them right here. Oh, your body back here. Oh, ah, ah. All of you out. There we go. Little glitchy. Beep. Here I will get them over here now. Our villages should be completely populated. I was gonna do move all the villagers from one village to the other village, but it's hard to get them all in one place. So for this, I used power rail. A normal rail for turns, minecart. You can use any type of block. I just grabbed polished granite, redstone torch, the villager spawn egg, and of course, two villages. To make it easier, you probably should turn up monsters off. But, it's not really gonna work. So, one other thing I would say is if you put a lot of villagers in a village, you could get an iron golem. And let me tell you, they're awesome. You could also breed villagers. Yeah, crazy breeding, isn't it? And I'm not going to breed, but... Okay, fine. Get in the village. But baby villagers look like that. They're tiny and they take less hits. Spawn as many villagers as possible. Hopefully, they're. I think not a lot of breeding will be going on because there is not a lot of doors. Yeah, did I mention, um, for villagers to breed, you need lots of doors. And the cutest moment I ever saw is an iron golem, ho an iron golem holding a rose while villagers are breeding. It is adorable. It is adorable. I'm going to tell you that. Now, we are going to go to redstone. Grab a door. Any type of door works.
I'm just sticking with the basics for now. You do not want to click on villagers if you're trying to move fast. Because they get you to the trade. And who wants to trade at the time like the at a breeding time like this? All of them are really over here. Just add more villagers. Okay, this village has lots of people. You know what? I can't wait. I can't wait for the fun. Usually, about two iron golems come in a village. It depends on how many people you have. <coughs> or villagers. <coughs> but to make one, you will need pumpkin and block of iron. Now, you need to make it shaped like, so now, because I want to add lots of them, I'm going to make them shaped like this. Iron golems protect the villagers so they will kill any zombie or stuff like that. But later in this video, I'll demonstrate how they attack and stuff. And if how good they are against some type of monster. You would probably not want to use iron golems against withers. It just doesn't work like that. And I just think um they don't attack creepers, which probably you wouldn't need because your villagers don't get attacked by creepers. Not need that pumpkin there. Okay. We have made them. They will go in straight protecting their villagers. Now, villagers, here. Without noise, they sound very nice and peaceful, but. Eh. Now, I'm gonna put the difficulty to heart. Now, zombies. Oh, wait. I'm gonna spawn max zombies. And there is such thing as baby zombies, but they do not come from you just doing like a villager. How do you click on that? They come randomly out of your bag. I just got two. And you can also get some like gold armor, stuff like that, leather armor, and the like, tools in their hands. And if they have gold armor, you probably would get a piece of that armor. And I just saw a little tiny baby zombie holding a sword. Yeah, there's many different types of zombies. Now, here we go. If an iron golem dies, which I don't think has happened yet. You know, there's a lot of chaos. It's really good in my laptop. Okay. I'm gonna wait here. You know what? This can I fly? Okay. This about wraps this video up. 
so bye, and I'll see you next time.